Well, when my teacher, Carrie, asked if anybody wanted to speak, I raised my hand because I thought it would be like important, and I don't know if I was really thinking. Sunnyside School is a special place where we learn about the environment and how the environment impacts us and how the world works around us. Well, this is Year of the Ocean, so we study uh, like blue whales and orcas and ocean creatures. I just love how there's such, sometimes there's such misunderstood creatures. Like people call them killer whales when they're such sensitive and have real feelings and emotions. They were asking for speakers if anybody wanted to speak and I volunteered so I did it with um, Hattie Sevens and Simone Centerwall and we basically worked together to figure out who would cover what topics. The thing I was surprised by is how much I was shaking. <laughs> It's great to have students show up for these meetings and it probably sounds a little dry to listen to it and listen to us go on and on about these things. So this is the script or the speech that I um, that I said in front of the US Fish or the Oregon Fish and Wildlife Commission. I'm here to support Lisbon Southern Resident Killer Whales as endangered species in the state of Oregon. The reason I feel drawn to the southern resident killer whales and as well as orcas as a whole is the mental similarities between us and them. Well, I think a lot of people, especially at my age, don't realize how important their voices are and are just like, well, it's just the ocean, it's just an animal, it doesn't seem to matter, but the ripple effect of it is so, so huge. Like, what I said in part of my speech was that, like, if the southern resident killer whales went extinct, the entire ocean ecosystem would be at risk. I'm really proud of everyone for doing it because I think, like they said, they don't get a lot of students and that's really awesome. And having youth people who normally aren't heard of, I think is really important.